we have large meteorites or asteroids like nuclear bombs impacting Earth every 180 years. This is a new revelation by scientists. A team studying Australia's Wolf Creek, this is the image that we see here, the Wolf Creek Crater, calculated how often meteorites hit our Earth with a force of massive nuclear explosions. And they say that it's every 180 years, to be precise. Professor Tim Barras of University of Wollongong led an international team. They used two techniques to date rocks affected by the impact of Wolf Creek Crater. And it reveals that it's much younger than they previously thought. He says the first one was to get some rocks from the crater rim, which had been ejected. Then the meteorite hit. And this, when the meteorite hit, it ejects, it melts, it ejects the uh, rocks from the crater. And this creates a fresh surface that gets exposed to radiation. And we can determine how long that exposure has been for. And Barrows explains that the second technique was to look for the dune field, which had been deflected by the crater. The team found that it was most likely that an iron meteorite 15 meters wide, that's about what, 30, 90, 90 feet across, hit the 15, 30, no, about 60 feet across, hit the site 120,000 years ago, less than half of the previous estimate of 300,000 years ago. He says the amount of energy that was released when the meteorite hit was something about the order of 30 to 40 times the energy released from the bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima. The Wolf Creek Crater is one of the planet's best preserved craters it's partly due because of the relative young age, but also because of its location. It's in a geologically stable desert. And that describes two-thirds of Australia, meaning that earthly meteorite craters found here have their best chance at longevity. He says Australia's arid area is an excellent area in terms of preserving materials, meteorites. There's a huge number of meteorites that have been found in the Nularbor Plain, for example. But it's also great for preserving craters because the erosion rates are so low, he says. Barrows and his team found that meteorites measured in tens of meters, like the one that created the Wolf Creek Crater, are much more common than large meteorites, measuring in kilometers, for example, which only impact the Earth every few million years. Six other Australian craters with known impact dates were combined with the new research on Wolf Creek, and they produce a frequency of strikes for that area of the Earth's surface. He says it looks like we're getting at least one big meteorite. By big, that's more than 25 meters, 25, let's say 30, that's uh, 90 feet across or so, every 180 years. He says there's probably been four craters formed by meteorites hitting Earth in just the last 60 or 70 years. Barrow says that since most of these meteors are hitting oceans, as 75% of our planet is covered with water. It's unlikely that such a meteorite would hit a populated area. But Burrow says that they are still major events in the geological history of these areas. This was from Sputnik, it's on Yemen Press. I'll leave a link below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition 
and the community around our church. Thank you.